First impression that I got was the incredible images that this machine takes. Uh, the ability to capture a 133 degree image through a non-dilated pupil, the clarity, the megapixels, the micron resolution is very impressive. One of my techs was trained in about three minutes and she was off and running. Very simple, very easy to use. I think in comparison to other wide field imaging systems on the market, I think patient comfort is very, very good with this machine. It has a chin rest, it has a forehead rest. So once you put the patient into the chin rest in the forehead, much like you would do with a slit lamp biomicroscopy, they're pretty much not gonna move. The camera has the ability to do a wide field image, which is a single photograph of 133 degrees. It has an ultra wide field model, which is two separate images that are montage stitched together. It has fundus autofluorescence, acquisition to do one photograph both eyes, probably less than two minutes. To do the wide field portion where you take two images, I still think you can get it done in two or three minutes and get a good quality image. I had two really busy clinics and I've had the opportunity to image over 60 patients on this device over the course of a couple of days. I think the Claris 500 is the next generation of ultra wide field. There's wide field cameras on the market, but when you look at the Claris and when you look at the ease of data acquisition, patient comfort, the resolution of the images, I think we're gonna see this is the next revolution of digital retinal photography.